Hi, everybody. My name is Caden. My name is Jaden. My name is Eli. I'm Nicole. I'm Jason. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah YouTube channel. We are running on the Torah series where we teach you the commands, and we are so grateful that you guys would take time out of your day to go over all these commands. We have several videos now of lists of Torah commands, and it is of the utmost importance for your soul that you learn these and that you understand these so that you know what your Creator wants from you, what it truly is that He is seeking for, and it's not the basic things you've heard in church where you go to church on Sunday and you raise your hand and you are saved and you can live how you want. It is a much more walk with y'all. It's much more of a life where you have to dedicate yourself instead of dedicating your life to the world. Nice. Good job, Kate. No, that's exactly right. Um, we never know how these starts are going to go. Um, we kind of mess around at the very first, and so we're, we sound kind of dysfunctional at first. Um, maybe one day we'll sound like a uh, quartet or a, uh, what's the five person in the band? Uh, it's not like a, it's like Quint Quintalgo, I don't know. I don't a Quintalgo? No, no, no. Like, no that was so Spanish. Spanish one. I don't know what that it's is. Quint <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I don't remember what it is. All right. So thank you guys very much. You guys are all our family. We really, truly appreciate everybody who joins in and listens to the word of Yah. And by doing so, you are actually um, keeping commandments, which says we are supposed to write these commandments on our heart, mind, and soul. And so for the last two chapters, we haven't had anything. Any commands, which is okay because the chapter before that we had 22 commands. So we will already begin and we're gonna try this a little different way here. And I'm gonna drag this up and see if this actually works and see if this doesn't, this tablet is totally dysfunctional. I think it just took me to school. It may have or it may not have. All right, so we're gonna do this a little bit different. I'm gonna see if we can do this so it doesn't mess everything up. But because of the, um, the way things are and the translations of these things, it might be handy if we can have two different versions up here. And so we will attempt this and see if we can make it happen. Okay, so somebody want to give us a quick breakdown of what we were doing. So the day before or the episode before, we, uh, we built the ark. We built the ark and then we worked in the next video coming up, which is uh, the tabernacle. Is right. We are building part of the tabernacle, and we're going still into the tabernacle. Tabernacle is a very designed, very organized, very um, decorational thing to Yah, and there's a lot of detail that goes into it, so he goes down exactly of how everything goes, and we are still continuing on in that. Yeah, and some of you might think this is pretty dry reading and pretty dry stuff, and it is kind of. It's not exactly exciting, um, but if we were back in the day and these were the instructions that we were given, they would probably be really super exciting um, to us. And it'll probably be exciting one day. So let's begin. Exodus 27. And you shall make an altar of acacia wood, five cubits long and five cubits broad. The altar shall be four square and the height thereof shall be three cubits. And you shall make the horns of it upon the four corners thereof. His horn shall be of the same and you shall overlay it with brass. And since we have two different versions here, I got to do this twice. And you shall make his pans to receive his ashes and his shovels and his basins and his flesh hooks and his fire pans and all vessels whereof you shall make of brass. So yours says flesh hooks, mine says forks. Okay. And so in uh, the NIV on the right hand side here, it says pots and pans, ashes, and yeah, bowls, meat, forks, and fire pans. Okay. Four. And you shall make for it a grate of network of brass, and upon the net shall you make four brazen rings in the four corners thereof. All right, does anyone have any idea what we're making here? Uh, mine says a bronze network. I don't exactly know. Uh, I think it's like uh, almost like a net, a mesh made out of bronze is what we're looking at here. Kind of like a decorated mesh. I don't know if you anybody see the window designs anywhere, but uh, sometimes you have these things that are sprawled out, kind of looking... Uh, like a, almost a web style thing on Windows, and I think that's what they're aiming for here. Yeah, and so first it starts talking about the altar, and then on top of it, you should make horns of it upon the four corners of the altar. So is this the like the grill part on top? Is this what this is? I don't know exactly what this is, as we're trying to figure out. And you make pans to receive his ashes and shovels and base. Yeah, I think this is the sacrifice uh, setup here. Um, yeah, so this is the altar of. Acacia wood. Okay. Yeah, so we're learning this as you guys are as well. And since we never have to experience this, we or can only read of the old stuff here. Okay. Um, and you shall put, verse 5, and you shall put it under the compass of the altar beneath, that the net may be even to the midst of the altar. And you shall make staves for the altar, staves of acacia wood, overlay them with brass. Okay, so everything is... Um, Everything is overlaid with a metal on top of it, right? And so I guess if you just had, like, wood 
um, poles that would be pretty weak, but everything is either brass or gold or something of the sort. And the stave shall be put into the rings, and the stave shall be upon the two sides of the altar to bear it. Hollow with boards shall you make it, as it was showed you in the mount, so they make it. All right, and then verse 9. Um, and you shall make the court of the tabernacle, for the south side southward there shall be hangings for the court of fine twined linen of a hundred cubits long for one side. And the 20 pillars thereof and the 20 sockets shall be of brass. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets shall be of silver. Mine says joining. Bands. 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 Yeah. So instead of fillets. Yeah, it's bands. Yeah, here yeah, it says it silver hooks and bands on the posts. Okay, this is this is, gets real confusing here sometimes in the Sefer. Um, I like the translation with the uh, names, that's for sure. Um, the rest of it's kind of rough to, to deal with, but it's probably closer to the original stuff. And likewise for the north side in length, there shall be hangings of a hundred cubits long, and his twenty pillars and their twenty sockets of brass, the hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver. And your guys just say what? Bands. Bands of silver. Okay. And um, 12. And for the breadth of the court on the west side shall be hangings of 50 cubits, their pillars 10 and their sockets 10. And the breadth of the court on the east side eastward shall be 50 cubits. The hangings, on, uh, the hangings of one side of the gate shall be 15 cubits, their pillar 3 and their sockets 3. Okay, so I'm going, this is just a little more confusing where I'm doing two versions here. And on the other side shall be hangings 15 cubits, their pillars three, their sockets three. I think I just went over that one. Or is that the same one? This. This is the second next one. Okay, so yeah. um, I don't have a great representation of this. We're probably not doing a great job for y'all on explaining this, but... Um, try, to, try, try, try to imagine this. this yeah, feel. try to imagine this if you would, and we will try to find a picture of it at some point and see what it is. 16, and for the gate of the court shall be a hanging of eight, of 20 cubits of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen wrought with needlework and their pillars shall be four with and their sockets four. Okay, and so all the pillars round about the court shall be filleted with silver. Their hooks shall be of silver and their sockets of brass. So when it says filleted on the king, it says all the posts around the courtyard to have silver bands and hooks and bronze bases. So I don't, the filet thing is filleted with silver. Yeah, mine just, mine says joined. Or, yeah, it doesn't seem to say filleted here, so I don't know what the original translation was. The length of the court shall be 100 cubits and the breadth 50 everywhere, and the height 5 cubits of fine twined linen and their sockets of brass. So there's a 50 again, so we're dealing with lots of 50. Ja really, really, really likes his 50s. All the vessels of the tabernacle in the ser in the ser in all the service thereof, and all the pins thereof, and all the pins of the court shall be of brass. And you shall command the children of Yashrael that they bring you pure olive oil beaten for a for the light to cause the lamp to burn always. In the tabernacle of the assembly, sorry, in the tabernacle of the assembly, without this without the veil which is before the testimony. Aaron and his sons shall order it from evening to morning before Yahuwah. It shall be a statute forever unto their generations on behalf of the children of Yashrael. All right, gentlemen, um, that's a kind of a quick chapter. We don't know exactly what we're seeing. We're going to go out and try to find a picture of this that we can put for the thumbnail. Um, you have to really dial these in and, and dial them up to figure this out, um, what, what Yah had. But... Moshe got all of the instructions on the uh, mount as well. Yeah, so. I think he got it right because y'all didn't tell him to fix it a second time. Yeah, so. he, he was on Moshe by the time he was done. He was obviously skilled in biblical architecture. So, Yep, and so I guess that is it. Um, I don't know so much we have anything more on this particular chapter. Um, we're still at 49 commands, and we are, you know, we're heading on the homeward stretch out of Exodus, and uh, Leviticus will be a, a lot of commands, but they won't apply to us because, again, Messiah Yahushua... Um, became our sacrifice. He became the ultimate blood bought blood sacrifice that, you know, it took the case of millions of oxen and millions of the, the sacrificial everything. And he became our Melchizedek priest. Um, it is, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense to me, the entire setup, the way that Yah did this, the, the system he set up. Um, why didn't he send Messiah Yahushua to begin with instead of going the whole way of oxen and things of that nature uh, it's more of a test to his people is more of a will they learn this time when a parent tries to teach his kid before he gives them the 
direct answer, he's always going to give them a test, right? When he just wants to test them to see their either their intelligence or their obedience or how the way they think, they always put a test before them, and then at the end they'll give them the answer. But he wanted to test their obedience. Will they continue to obey? Will we have to continue to slaughter oxen? Will they figure it out? And they didn't figure it out. They failed, right? They all went into a, a, a captivity. And that's why Yahushua came back was to retrieve them. He said, I've come for the lost sheep of Yasharel. And it wasn't the people in Judah at the time. It was for the people around. That's why he sent all of his disciples out to the what was called the Gentiles at the time, even though the mixed multitudes were y Yasharelites. Yeah, and I think, you know, if you're dealing with a the death of your own son, you're going to go the way of every way possible to do this. And it's starting to rain here, but our Creator is very holy and He's very righteous and He is merciful and, you know, He showed us His mercy with the Messiah. So, okay, everybody, it is raining here. I think that's probably our cue to go off. Much love to everybody out there. Much love to the big family that we have. Uh, it's not big, but uh, it's, as big, it's bigger than we have here, so... Uh, yeah. Much love to everybody out there. All right, All right, shalom. Shalom. Read your Bibles. Read your Bibles.